Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be discovering something hysterical that you can do to the most racist guy in the entire game. But before we actually get to that, an Easter egg that reminded me of this guy. And it actually comes in one of the newspaper articles that you can read in game. Now, for this, you'll need the Blackwater Ledger number 71 or the New Hanover Gazette number 36. And you're going to need to look for a specific article. It's prominent Yale scientist speaks out. It says mixing of races discouraged American society at risk. Noted Yale anthropologist Harold McDougall, author of the book The Scrooge of Crossbreeding, presented a paper to colleagues at a symposium last week reminding fellow scientists that some races are predisposed to create higher functioning societies than others. The paper titled Savage Minds, the Racial Continuum Between Animal and God has created a stir amongst those in the anthropological community. It is clear to me that some societies advance, taming agriculture, mastering letters and literature, inventing fantastical things such as the phonograph or electricity while others wallow in squalor scarcely able to feed and clothe themselves. It comes down to the nature of the savage soul. Savages cannot construct buildings that rise to the heavens, but we have, McDougall said in an agitated and excited manner. The professor of anthropology at Yale has dedicated his academic focus to the study of race and civilization. His paper was soundly thrashed by his colleague Benjamin Fortesque, who asserted that McDougall has no empirical evidence to support his wild claims. So long story short, this guy, like super, super, super racist, thinks like crossbreeding not good, some races are better than others, and you guys might remember that name, Harold McDougall, because he's actually a major character in Red Dead Redemption that John Marston has many encounters with. And in case you guys never played Red Dead Redemption, I'm sure you have, here is just a taste of what Professor Harold McDougall is like so you have an idea of who we're talking about here incredible simply incredible hello professor oh hello sir oh mr marston sir good day good day how are you well my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents and my own hard-won freedom is under duress but these problems aside i suppose i'm fair <laughs> yes the problems of civilizing nomads uh, Tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. You'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Uh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. So it's a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. It takes one back to a primal state. It helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? Or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars. But still, my heart is pure, and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding, both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. 
They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? In the hills, in Cochinet. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Well, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. So that right there was a fun little Easter egg, but it did remind me of the other like super racist guy in Red Dead Redemption 2, the eugenics professor that you can actually run into in San Denis, who is basically like preaching roughly the same stuff that like, you know, if you're not a certain race, like you don't deserve a spot in this world and that crossbreeding is super bad. You can take his pamphlet, you can interact with him. And in a previous video, I had actually done some experiments with him. What happens if you kidnap this guy? And what's funny is no one seems to care. The town folk don't get upset. The police don't get mad at you at all. Well, I wanted to take this one step further. Like, could you just kill this guy in cold blood in front of the police? And would they do anything? I was really curious if that would happen. And believe it or not, the answer is you can literally just shoot this guy Wherever you want, you can kill him, and the police don't care. They didn't even, like, bat an eye. I mean, I think the lawman, like, pulled out his pistol, but he was like, oh, you just shot that super racist guy. I'm going to let that go because you have just done this town and this world a giant service. I think it's hysterical. Like, I had no idea that was going to happen. I mean, I, I thought I could get away with kidnapping him, but murdering him, that's a whole different story. So I just found this to be a fun little Easter egg and then something you had no idea that you could likely do to the most racist guy in Red Dead Redemption 2 and get away with it, which is absolutely amazing. So I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. This is an interesting Easter egg that you might not have known about from this in-game newspaper article, which, by the way, these newspaper articles contain a lot of deep story and Easter eggs that you just probably had no idea even existed. But like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Or better yet, you guys can reach out to me on my Facebook page, send photos, videos, and more if you want me to cover future topics in the story. But anyways, if you guys did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.